Yo, this is W Soul 13 bringing you Raid Shadow Legends, and today we're gonna be looking at this extra legendary event, right? How people should look at it, and if you're playing with limited resources, how you should play it, right? So, how does it work exactly? Well, how it works is if you summon a legendary from a sacred shard, you are going to get an extra legendary. Doesn't matter what it is, you'll just get an extra one. A different one, I guess. Or maybe you can get a dupe too. Either ways, it doesn't really matter because you need to crack that legendary in the first place, right? So, let's do the mercy system yet again because this these are the numbers that matter in my opinion so we're looking at the bottom row sacred shards right uh, so after 12 summons without a legendary so you've done 12 without a legendary you increase your chance to pull per shard after that by 2% right so the default is 6%. So on a 2x, that's 12%. So it'll take 3 shards for you to match 2x on sacreds. So that's 15 shards, right? 12 plus 3, 15. And it's only a good idea, only a good idea, if you've been tracking your mercy and you legitimately haven't pulled a legendary. This is a way for you to recoup your bad luck but take note all right so do some quick maths i mean it's not that hard right so you go from 15 so if, let's say you're right at your mercy today so that means um you have a 12 percent chance pull a legendary next one so it's a plus 2 14 right on your 16 chart it's going to be a 14 percent chance so let's say you crack five sacred shards right on your fifth one the max chance you'll have there is what? 12, 12 plus 10, 22%. Still pretty low. On your 10th one, it's gonna be 32% on your 10th one. And then 42% on your, um, on your 15th one, right? It doesn't mean that you're not going to pull anything from 0 to 15 shards if you're already at your mercy, right? But I'm just telling you that though the odds are going to be escalating towards your favor, so eventually it's a, like an attrition thing, right? Eventually you are going to pull a legendary. There's also incredible odds for you not to pull one, <laughs> which sucks, right? So let's say you're only thinking about, oh, I'm at my mercy and I have like five sacred shards. Good chance you don't pull you don't pull a legendary off those five. Very pretty good chance still. It's not a hundred percent either way, right? This is why I favor the guaranteed events better. So let's say you were gonna spend thirty sacred shards all in all, including your mercy, where you pulled nothing. Uh, you, I mean, you didn't pull a legendary, right? And then it took you 30 all in all to get your guaranteed legendary here. Well, maybe they'll offer up a actually good guaranteed legendary for 30 or 20 or 15 sacred shards. However the number is, it's better for you to have the sacred shards available. Not to mention using sacred shards mostly for fusion events, right? So yeah. Um... We're moving into an era where shards are more valuable if you don't pop them. That's it. So if you want to understand how to diamond hand these shards, it's all about income. So diamond handing shards is all about income, right? So if you're making progression in the game without having to pull shards in the first place, it's easy to diamond hand shards, right? So we're going to be testing this uh, theory out next year. Honestly, that's that's kind of one of the things I want to do next year is we're going to be testing that theory out. We're going to be 
playing the game through the fusion events and we're gonna see what kind of progression we can get just from playing fusion events next year right so that's it guys that's all i wanted to talk about today is this guaranteed legendary event so for most people honestly don't pull right it's dumb it's too hard to guarantee it's a le extra legendary let me let me say that again it's too hard to guarantee that you do pull the legendary even if you are at your mercy right and then the other the flip side of that is if you've been actual accurately counting your mercy and you're right there and you're like imminent you know i mean sure why not risk a few more shards i guess you you recoup your bad luck right if you do get lucky you recoup a lot of your bad luck because you double up on legendaries okay 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 but really, the better way to look at this is save for the guaranteed champ events such as fusion events and the actual guaranteed champ events, right? So I think those are the better bang for your buck for your sacreds, right? So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. If I'm proven right or not over time. I think honestly over time I've already been proven right. Um, this year, I've already built a Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss team specifically just by playing Fusions. I don't see how that, that's going to change next year. Most likely next year, I'll be able to do the same thing. Play through the Fusions, build the Ultra Nightmare comp from there. We'll see. We'll see if that if it works out that way or not, right? So we're, we're going to play that game next year. So I'll see you guys um, next time. And we'll talk more about Raid and... Like what you should do to diamond hand these shards so you could actually play in the fusion events and get those guaranteed champs when they're available. See ya.